Hey, what's going on guys? Daniel from ModBot here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to easily upgrade your K40 uh, CO2 laser to the Cohesion 3D laser board. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. For starters, we're going to want to get into the electronics panel. Normally there is a screw that is in this little hole right here that you'll have to remove. It's just a Phillips screw. Uh, and once you remove that, you'll be able to pop open the hood like you see here. So the board we're going to be removing is the main controller board, which is up butted up against the front of the machine, as you can see here. To remove this whole panel, we're going to have to remove three nuts and three bolts. One of them is on the side and the other two are below the board on the base of the laser. Before we do that, I recommend going ahead and unplugging all of your plugs. There should be four of them. Uh, it's going to be a power, two stepper motors and an end stop. If you want, go ahead and take a photo of this just in case you forget how they were positioned. It shouldn't be too difficult, but I always recommend uh, taking a photo just to be on the safe side. Then I went ahead and just used an adjustable wrench to loosen the bolts on the side and the bottom um, so that way I can unscrew them the rest of the way with my hands. Also, there's a few revisions of the actual uh, controller board for this laser. So if yours looks slightly different, don't worry about it. Um, again, just take a photo of how things are plugged in. Some of them actually have a ribbon cable. So uh, if, you're, if yours looks slightly different, don't freak out. Um, the K40s don't exactly have one standard. So there's a few different boards, again, that are inside of the machine. So once you've removed the three nuts, you're gonna to want to gently lift your machine up. Um, that way you can access the two bolts that are sticking in through the bottom of the machine. Just be careful when doing so, so you don't damage the laser tube on the back. Once you remove those, you should be able to then easily slide out the whole white panel, which is holding the controller in place. Removing this is really easy. There is uh, four screws and four bolts. What I ended up doing was just putting a little bit of pressure on the screws on the back. And by doing so, it able, I was able to actually loosen the nuts. So I just went around and loosened them all one by one. And then after that, I was able to just use my fingers to unscrew the nuts from the front side of the board. So the Cohesion 3D board is meant to be an exact drop-in. For mine, it was an exact drop-in where the bolts uh, lined up exactly with the existing holes on the Cohesion 3D board. There is a chance that you will have to actually uh, drill um, if yours does not line up. Um, I can link you guys to the exact K40 that I bought on eBay in case you want to go with this one in hopes that it is the exact same setup. But um, if you are lucky and if you do have the board that is the exact same footprint, then again, you should be able to just drop it in place and basically undo what we just did, which is tighten the screws and those four nuts now and um, don't over tighten them. You don't obviously want to damage the board. I just kind of uh, tightened them until they were snug. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place the white panel back inside of our K40 laser and line up the hole on the side and the two holes on the bottom. We're going to lift and put the two bolts in place that are, um, again, sticking in from the bottom side of the K40. I went ahead then and just tightened the three nuts uh, with my hand. And once they were tight as far as I can get them with my hand. I went ahead with again the adjustable wrench and just did like another quarter turn to a half turn just to make sure that that panel was um, didn't have much wiggle to it. So then we're going to go ahead and plug in those four cables again. Um, I actually plugged in the X and Y stepper motors into the opposite ones. So the X was plugged into the Y and the Y was plugged into an X. And I learned that when I homed the printer and it was trying to go the opposite direction. So if you want to maybe mark the cables before you remove them, so you know which one's X and which one's Y. If not, when you power on the CO2 laser, just make sure that you keep an eye on it. So that way, if it does go the wrong way, you know just to swap those cables around. Uh, lastly, just go ahead and plug in the full-size SD card that's already running the custom smoothie firmware uh, into the controller board, and then we can actually close up the panel, and you can put the screw back on if you want. I just left it off. And for the ports, we're going to plug in a USB 
uh, into our computer and the K40, as well as the power supply that came with the Cohesion 3D board. Um, that needs to be plugged into the board to make sure it's powered. Then we'll head over to the computer and download Lightburn. Uh, links will be in the description to where you can find this. Uh, and if you want to purchase it or if you just want to download the 30-day trial, it's the full software, so you can play around with it if you're not sure if you want to go that route. I highly recommend it. I think it is, if you're doing the Cohesion 3D board, you certainly should be doing uh, the Lightburn software upgrade as well. Install is super easy. It actually detected my smoothie device. The only issue is that it was saying that the device connected had a 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter um, uh, work area, which is not the case. It's actually 300 by 200 millimeters. So I went ahead and clicked finish, but then I went in afterwards and just quickly edited the settings. So it's running smoothie and I changed the name of it to K40 laser. Make sure that you um, also let it know that it homes in the front left or that's the origin. It does truly home in the back left, but for the sake of the uh, work area and the platform to make sure it's not inverted, um, definitely make sure you mark front left. Once you hit finish and then okay, I actually made it my default as well, um, which isn't necessary unless you have more than one laser. Uh, it will go ahead and open up the Lightburn software and you are ready to go. If it does say disconnected when your laser is connected, all I had to do was unplug the USB cable and plug it back in and it detected it without any problem. So that's it. That is how easy it was. Uh, realistically, realistically, if I hadn't been recording a tutorial for you guys and trying to get all these clips, I probably could have had that board swapped out and in with the software up and running within 10 minutes. Um, it is a super, super simple um, swap, and a, which is awesome. I mean, any time an upgrade or a mod uh, can be that easy, that's fantastic. And I think that, again, Cohesion 3D with their laser board did a phenomenal job in making this as easy uh, of a transition as possible. So if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Again, links will be down there for the software, for the Cohesion 3D board, uh, and as well as the video I did prior to this, which talks about the, the features of the Cohesion 3D laser board and kind of why you might want that for your K40 laser. So on that note, don't forget to like and subscribe for more great videos. Uh, consider supporting me on Patreon. It really helps me out and uh, helps me put more into my content and get more awesome supplies to make the videos for you guys. And I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Can't wait to see you in my next video. Peace, guys.